Tasting the Heat Live. Your home for spicy food entertainment and reviews. The original spicy food talk show on Facebook. Tasting the Heat Live. Tasting the Heat Live will start momentarily. Please hit your share button now. Tasting the Heat Live, the original spicy food talk show on Facebook. Thank you for following Tasting the Heat. Please share with your friends. Tasting the heat will start momentarily. Please hit your share button now. Tasting the heat live, the original spicy food talk show on Facebook. Thank you for following Tasting the Heat, the spicy food entertainment and review channel. Thank you for tuning in. The show is about to begin with your host, Kendall Stadler. It's that time. Sit back and hit that share button. The show is ready to begin. We are on. Uh, <laughs> it's been a crazy couple of weeks. We uh, had the computer down. It went down on us, and uh, we had a little problems. They cleaned up the uh, video card. They did some other work. wasn't a whole lot they could do on it because uh, the system is quite old. But, uh, you know, all in all, we are back live, and I'm looking for a great show. If anybody would like to support uh, Tasting the Heat, please go to tastingtheheat.com and hit the donation button. I'd really appreciate that so we can get start getting some uh uh, new equipment to make this things a lot better for everybody. I've got a really excited show tonight. We have Drew Jacobson and Steve Best. Boy, I think I got their names right. <laughs> they are going to be here. They are from Hurtberry Farm, and they've got some fantastic sauces. I've got one of them right here. They've got their whole line up there. And uh, we're going to be talking to them about how they got uh, uh, involved in, in the hot sauce industry and everything. And it uh, looks like we're still a little uh, shaky. Uh, please uh, excuse the shakiness and of the video. Uh, please listen. There's a great show. I uh, use this as like a podcast so that you can uh, hear what's going on. And I, I can't wait to get these guys on. So uh, without further ado, let's bring them on. Hey, guys, how you doing? Hey, hey, how, hey how, are you? how are you? I'm doing great. I am doing great. I uh I uh, wish we still could get a little bit better feed, but we're doing the best we can with what we got, and uh, I really appreciate you, appreciate you guys uh, jumping on here. It looks like we got a few people watching, and that's kind of cool. So uh, if you see some of you on there that you know, jump on there and say hi to them, and uh, uh, you know, say something nice to them or say something mean to them. I don't, uh, you know, it's totally up to you. <laughs> <laughs> so Hertzberry Hertzberry Farm, you guys out of Canada. That's and, right. Uh, I was very fortunate to uh, meet you guys at the Heat Wave Hot Sauce Expo in London. And uh, you guys, everybody there treated me so wonderfully, and it was so wonderful to uh, uh, meet you guys. And uh, I just fell in love with your sauces. And uh, oh, it looks like we got some uh, people watching. Look at we got uh, hot ones. Uh, Greg, he's from Canada. Uh, Jim, uh, Steve, uh, Steve from uh, uh, Motor City uh, Barbecue. Steve, how you doing? 
Um, <clears throat> great sauces, by the way. Hey, Lisa uh, and Julie. Yeah, a lot of people. Are. Julie, thank you very much. Lisa, Lisa's great. She's from Canada yeah. also. Uh, Fred Zahn. Hey, I just reviewed a couple sauces from Fred. Uh, uh, really great for, really great sauces from Fred Hot. Uh, go ahead and uh, jump on uh, tastingtheheat.com and check them out. They were really good sauces. I really uh, appreciate him uh, sharing his stuff with me. And uh, Anyways, I was talking with you guys in Canada, and I really loved your story, and that's why I wanted to get you on the show because uh, you guys uh, – just seem to yeah I'm, I'm sorry jim it looks like we are frozen but as long as you guys can hear us um we'll do the best we can with what we got uh you guys have got such a great story and and your background is so amazing that i just want to show it with everybody so uh why don't you guys start off and tell us exactly where you guys came from and what's going on all right Drew. okay well uh steve and i I'd been working together for, for quite a few years, the last jobs we were, at the high volume restaurant. Um, I started uh, Drew's Chili Company, which was a small batch, smaller than we are now, um, sauce company um, with local ingredients. And in 2017, Steve came on um, and joined Drew's Chili Company uh, while we were both working as chefs. Um, we really worked well together. Uh, Steve came up with some really awesome ideas for artwork, um, as well as a lot of uh, input into the production of our sauces. And if anybody who's familiar with the, the last company, it's kind of an extension, her very farm of where we were going. Um, now we're just able to bring it to more people. Um, so we really liked the gourmet flavor profiles. We really like to offer something very different, the locally conscious, uh, working with the community um, and using the freshest ingredients that we can possibly get our hands on, as well as maintaining the standard and level of quality um, that we believe our customers deserve. Well, I uh, tried your sauces at, uh, uh, in Canada, and then I uh, also uh, uh, brought some home and did a review on them. And they are, they are the, the, um, the uh, complexity of them and the uh, uh, layering effect of the flavors that you have are, are just amazing, and I really, really enjoy them. Uh, these aren't sauces that you just threw together in a day and uh, had everything going for you, are they? No, absolutely not. One thing that I've been saying recently is that because we take so much care in what goes in every bottle between the sourcing of ingredients, where they come from, the quality of them. It's almost like we're engineering these sauces. Um, and right here, we've engineered a great team of sauces that each work together, like as a unit, as Hurtberry Farm, but each has their individual flavor profiles which works so well on so many varieties of food if you wanna elevate your everyday and kick up the heat a little bit. Uh, now, I uh, want you uh, start from the end, pick it up, pick up one of your sauces, tell us the name and exactly how it came about and uh, how you feel about uh, what they're best on and the flavor profile that you have. Okay, here is our, uh, our mildest sauce. As we mark, we, we label our sauce as hot, hotter, hottest, and super hot. Okay. Uh, we believe that a mild sauce to us is like a barbecue sauce with no heat. This is a hot sauce, so it's gonna start at hot. We're an all-inclusive company, which we like to include everybody, uh, not just the head chili head, from the newbie all the way up to the chili head. So our first our first sauce, Excellent. our mildest sauce, is our viridescent. Our viridescent is a traditional Mexican verde using the freshest roasted tomatillos serranos, lime zest, lime juice, um, tomatillos, and then we add garlic, uh, gram masala, and coconut milk to take it to an Indian flavor. So it's basically an East Indian inspired salsa verde. It, um, it's, it's amazing. It is amazing. It's salsa. really good on many applications. Um, Steve did a great little recipe, really simple. We want to try to show people that this can be used as a cooking ingredient. Um, so what Steve did was take an avocado and just to, sh just to showcase how simple and quick it could be to use our products. He took half an avocado added a tablespoon of this and uh, mashed it up and you have an instant East Indian guacamole. Nice. Serve it with some nice uh, grilled naan bread versus tortilla um, and a nice piece of white fish, even a salad dressing, um, it can be used on. So there's many different applications for this 
for all of our sauces, especially this one, for somebody whose heat level might not be as um, as high as some of the uh, the other people out there. Yeah, I, t- I t- took that same sauce and uh, I have taken it to work with me, and I take a, a prepackaged guacamole and I mix that in it, and uh, I uh, dip bacon into it for uh, my breakfast. Uh-huh. And I tell you what, it, it really is a great combination. What an amazing sauce. Um, yeah, that's amazing. Now, you were saying uh, you came up with a recipe. Now, do you have recipes on your um, website? Um, that's something that we're currently working on. We're currently working on some uh, recipe cards to give away as promotions at some of the shows that we're doing in the upcoming months and in the future. Um, so that way we can kind of take these recipes that we've been workshopping, and you can see them on our, our Facebook page as well. Um, so that way you can use our products in, in your in your everyday cooking and see what you can really do with these products and and really accentuate your food with the flavors that we're offering. That that's awesome. That, yeah, that'd be a great idea because uh, especially you guys being you, you are actually uh, professionally trained chefs, so I'm sure there's some nice recipes that you guys could put together for people that would uh, really help out uh, with the uh, full bodied flavor of your sauces. Absolutely. And that's one thing that we'd like to touch on is how important hot sauce is as an upcoming condiment. I mean, we can all appreciate all the people that are listening and watching right now, um, how hot sauce is. It's not just something that people are just putting on top of something anymore. Sure, that'll always be the classic application, but it's time to really see what these sauces can do. There are so many, so many companies out there that are producing amazing great hot sauces uh, like Herberry Farm and let's like uh, let's really use them and, and see what they can really do for our food not just make them hot but make them super flavorful as well mm-hmm. we really like to push the, the flavor first absolutely uh, approach to our products um, the heat is obviously very important we both like spicy food and uh, we both really really enjoy that and everything in that and that surrounds that. But we really want people to be able to use these products and enjoy them. Absolutely. Uh, now, we've had a lot of converts. So, you know, we go to a market, we do a show, an event, a demo. And people that have said, oh, no, they're, they're used to maybe a, a sauce that had an experience with like an extract sauce or oh, yeah. the lines where they weren't really getting the flavor. They were just getting the burn. Right. 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 So, yeah. Uh, they, and you know what? That takes a lot of fun out of it because uh, I want to enjoy the sauce. And then the heat is a bonus, bonus, bonus extra that uh, mm-hmm. that you get from it, and uh, so that's why it really doesn't bother me if a sauce is just has a little heat or a lot of heat, as long as the flavors first. And that's exactly what you guys have got. Now your next sauce you got sitting there. Uh, get, let's show that one off. Okay, this is our uh, award-winning Starless. Uh, we took the award for best medium hot at the Heatwave Expo uh, in March. Um, this one we hold very dear to us. Uh, it was really, really fun uh, creating this. Uh, we took a uh, what is thought of as a traditional Mexican-style mole with elements and then put our Herberry Farm twist on it. Um, of course, using gourmet ingredients, the best quality. Uh, we use uh, smoked Mexican chilies. We used Ontario foraged mushrooms, uh, so morel, chanterelle, and porcini. We use um, locally sourced organic grade A dark maple syrup, coffee, uh, dark 70% dark cocoa, and then we take it to uh, like a savory side with some Middle Eastern flavors such as sumac, roasted garlic, tahini, and uh, za'atar, which may not be very familiar to a lot of people, but is very popular among chefs. Um, but that's another way for us to showcase, maybe give somebody an experience they've never had before. Uh, by showing them some of these ingredients that uh, definitely um, add a lot to the sauce in terms of robust depth, the umami, um, sweet. Uh, you get so many different flavors through Starless. Um, it's one of our personal favorites for sure. Absolutely. I got to try that the night before Heat Wave, and uh, we were sitting at the restaurant, and I got fish tacos, and I put that on it. And that's when I first had the first chance to try any of your sauces, and I knew right then I was uh, sitting with somebody who uh, was pretty special and knew what they were doing. It was such great flavor that that, that sauce gave the, the food that I was eating. Speaking of the uh, Heat Wave event, now there's another one coming up that you guys are going to be at. Is that correct? That's right. That's right. November 9th in Hamilton. 
uh, now uh, Hamilton now. I, I'm not familiar with that. How far away is that? Is that farther east from London? Yes, it's east from London. It's uh, probably just like uh, 20 minutes uh, west of Toronto. So it's going to be an amazing show. We're really looking forward that there are two uh, heat wave expos this year. We're expanding from from the one that we had last year, and it's just great to see that things are up and coming and moving forward and getting bigger in our community up in Canada. Oh, absolutely. The, the, the spicy food community is growing by leaps and bounds. They're, they're uh, estimating a uh, $1.6 billion within the next two years, so that's huge. I mean, uh, like we were talking before at the beginning of the show, uh, before the show, uh, the, the, go down to your rest, local uh, grocery store and walk down the chips and, and food aisle, even drinks now. Uh, as things are spicy, M and M's, you know, candies, chips, mm -hmm. pretzels, you name it, uh, mm -hmm. uh, pickles, uh, you know, mustards, everything. Everybody, when the big companies start throwing money into stuff that is spicy, you know you're on the right roller coaster of a ride because it's going up definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were talking about that earlier about uh, McDonald's as an yes. example, right? How they came out with a ghost pepper burger, they came out, you know, habanero. So you, you tend to see them, but you know, it's, it, it, they always seem to be, uh, when you go, like, like, like you said, the big companies, once they start doing it, it's a, it's a, it's a good sign that there's things happening. Right. 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 Uh, we're yeah. a little bit behind you guys in the U S in terms of, uh, the spicy community, but it is definitely growing. There's a lot of other companies in Canada that produce some really great sauces, um, that have been doing this for a very long time, like, like Heiko's yeah. and, uh, Pepper North is another yes, great another one. Great company, Matt yeah. Gringo, the list goes on. There's so many, too many yeah, to Dawson's name. Dawson's, well, you know. they're going to be uh, the hometown boys uh, in uh, Hamilton because that's their hometown. Oh, nice, nice. As well as Motor City, of course, and their barbecue sauce is really good. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'd love to see them over there. That'd be a great show. Hey, everybody, I want to thank you for joining us right now. Uh, I still apologize for the weak uh, video feeds. Keep listening. Uh, treat this as a, uh, like a, um, uh, 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 just a, uh, what am I, what's the word I'm looking for? Podcast. Podcast. There we go. Yeah, treat this as a pod, podcast because the information is fantastic. I'm talking to Drew and Steve from Hurtberry Farms. They've got some great sauces, and I wanted to share their story with you guys. So uh, please hit the share button. And uh, if you like what we're doing and you want to see this work even better, go to tastingtheheat.com and hit the donation button. Uh, just a few dollars from everybody would definitely get us to the point where we can have a uh, system up and running that would take care of all this uh, uh, video problems. But uh, I'm, I'm so happy to have these on, and it's still a show, great show. So uh, listen to what they have to say and uh, treat it as a podcast, and, and uh, we'll keep on chugging along here because I love their story. So let's break into their next sauce there. That is the one right in the middle. Uh, you just sent me that one recently, and I tell you what, that's a great sauce. Yeah, thank you very much, Kendall. This is our chard threads. Uh, this is more of a, a tropical style hot sauce. And in this one, we use fresh orange juice, fresh squeezed orange juice, fresh pineapple. Uh, we call it chard, th chard threads because I don't know if you can see it in there, but there's yeah. uh, all those little bits in, of goodness in there. And what those are are Korean chili threads as well as some saffron. Uh, now, um, this sauce is obviously hotter. It's our hot sauce of our trifecta that we have, our three standard sauces. And it is incredibly bright and vibrant, and it's good on everything from scallops. You can make a really great ceviche out of it. Um, just in so, so many applications, it, it's super fantastic. Even chicken, chicken wings. It's very approachable. Eggs, your morning eggs. Uh, it just lifts everything, like Steve says, elevates your every day. That's the products we, we want to give you. We want to give you an opportunity to even take your standard everyday food, but just kick it up a notch. Add a little bit of extra flavor here, a little bit there. Our, our, there's so much flavor in these bottles, it doesn't take a lot. No, to no. Change. Now, uh, that sauce there, I, I've been putting it on chicken wings. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, shrimp. Uh, like yes, on a yes. skewer, Real like a skewer, like on a yeah. uh, um, uh, barbecue with some uh, green peppers, some uh, uh, pineapple, some tomatoes, some shrimp, and then just baste it with it on the grill. That's that sauce. It caramelizes up nice, and mm -hmm. it's just fantastic. It's just amazing sauce. I really, really enjoy that one. Yeah, another good thing to mention about charred threads and something that can parlay into the rest of our sauces is how. 
uh, the caramelization that you're getting is from the sweetener that we're using, which is uh, wildflower honey that we get from one of our friends up in Nestleton. She makes amazing honey. And, and we use natural sweeteners in all of our hot sauces. So we'll use cane sugar, maple syrup, or honey, or any other natural sweeteners. We're not going to use a refined sugar because we want to put the best possible stuff, including something as simple as a sweetener or salt or that kind of thing, into our, into our sauces. Fantastic. And uh, you can definitely taste that different when, difference when you get a hold of your sauces. So uh, while we're talking about that, where can people get your sauces? We've got quite a few locations. Well, we're growing. <laughs> so we've, uh, you can pick it up. The largest place you can get it in Canada that's the most familiar is Hot Sauce Unlimited with George Boncha. He does a lot for the Canadian uh, hot sauce community and the U.S. as well, um, as well as uh, sponsoring the Heat Wave Hot Sauce Expos. Nice. So he's been really quite helpful. Uh, we do a lot of our business locally um, in um, the surrounding areas, the towns and the hamlets um, and the villages. Uh, we definitely uh, count on a lot of support from our uh, our local community of Uxbridge and Port Perry, uh, where we like to do a lot of collaboration as well. Uh, we just did a collaboration with our favorite brewery in Uxbridge with Starless. They did a Starless Mole Stout um, and second wedge and brewery. second wedge brewery in oxbridge so that was a really fun collab now now can people in the states order your sauce from any place yeah, yes hot sauce, through hot sauces unlimited uh george ships to the states nice. and old agnes and old agnes steven michelle berlant oh nice nice yes. yeah great people. yeah another great store in oregon check it out if you haven't checked it out they have some amazing stuff their brownies are really really good yeah, yeah. yeah. He brought and they, they, they really some support the small uh, the small guys, right? Uh, the up and comers, um, people that might have not had as much exposure, um, but still make really great products. So they uh, they're road warriors. They like to get on the road and like to do markets, like to get themselves out there. And uh, we really like that. Um, also, really great people. Um, yeah, I got to see him in right. New York, and he was handing out his brownies and uh, great people, oh. great food. Absolutely. Super awesome. great, Michelle and Steve. They're amazing people. Yes, yes. All right, yeah. let, let's take a look at your next sauce there. Oh, you know what? Uh, give out your website, too. Sure. Our website is www.hurtberryfarm.com. Um, you can get all of our products on there, as well as we do have a little bit of merch right now. We have two styles of hats. You can see me. I'm wearing one of the five-panel hats. Nice. So, yeah, we're growing. Um, the main thing for us right now, too, is just getting ready for uh, the garden. Uh, gardening and growing chilies is a, is a major passion for me and Steve. Uh, we like to produce as much as we can of our own product. Uh, plus, we love to be outside and outdoors. Um and we really just like the organicness, uh, the sustainability, um, fresh tastes best. It right. really does. Right. And uh, we, we get that from being chefs, uh, as well as the standards of quality and cleanliness when we're producing our products. Um, yeah. So. Well, I just seen uh, we got a few more people jumping on. Shelly, how you doing? Uh, we also have Brandon on there. Leslie, I really appreciate Hi, that. Hi, Leslie, Shelly, Greg, yeah, Brandon. Fantastic. Pierce. Now, 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 I got. Thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Uh, hit that share button. Give these guys as much exposure as we can get them. Uh, we've got a couple more sauces here. Give us the next sauce. Tell you what you got going on. Okay. Well, going forward, we're going into our super hot series. So this one right here is uh, our first one that we released. We don't have very much of this left. So if you really like this, uh, now is your now is your opportunity to to maybe get it before it's all gone. Uh, so this is Pyrolactra, which uh, translates into fire worship. This is an Asian style uh, hot sauce that we, the super hot sauce with super flavor. In this, we have a uh, light um, sesame oil, uh, pomegranate molasses, mandarin, mandarin oranges. oranges, which hit you right, right at the front, Sichuan peppercorns, which give it a nice numbing uh, heat sensation, as well as some seven pot lavas and some reapers to give it that full mouth burn. This is hot, but it is, once again, it's super flavorful. Tons of flavor, tons of really amazing heat. And it does have a ton of flavor. It is fantastic. amazing on everything from like a marinade all the way up to like a ponzu style uh, sauce. You can use it for sushi, you can use it in pho, you can use it in uh, ramen, uh, any of your stir fries, noodle dishes. Um, 
really good as adding extra heat to anything that's kind of got an Asian feel to it. It's got a really great flavor to it. Now we got one more hot sauce left. Uh, why don't you share that with everybody? Here's our newest. This is our newest one that we just released. Um, Steve Berland and Michelle have it in the U.S. And then George and a few other vendors here in Canada, as well as our website. Our super hot sauces this year are going to be rotated out. Um, they are a smaller batch than our signature line of charred threads, starless, and viridescent. Um, a, that keeps things interesting, and as well as keeps the ingredients really fresh. Um, because we tend to use some really interesting, uh, more interesting than, if you could believe it, than our, than our signature line. We use uh, Ontario roasted heirloom tomatoes. Uh, we use frosted red peppers, pomegranate juice, uh, fresh garlic, and then uh, reapers, scorpions, chocolate butla, um, and habanero. And then we also use Javanese long pepper, uh, coriander, and mustard seeds. Um, this is, uh, a lot of people are really liking this on Italian food pizza, pasta, yeah. but uh, I guess Bloody Mary in the U.S. or a Caesar here in Canada, um, chicken wings. This is a really great sauce. A lot of people are giving us some really awesome feedback on this. Um, it's got a really nice mouthfeel, nice texture. It's got some really nice heat, but the, the mix and blend of chilies we use gives you uh, like a varied burn. So you get, uh, you know, you get the lips, you get tongue, you get mouth, you get throat. Uh, you get a little whiskey chest. So... We're really enjoying that one. People are giving us great feedback on that sauce. I love that sauce also. Uh, that's another great one on wings and on pizza. Uh, the morning uh, um, uh, omelet it fires it right up, too. Yes. It's just great yes. flavor. You guys have done such a magnificent job putting these together. And uh, I, I know we touched on uh, uh, your background of being professional chefs. Where would you guys come from? Where, where, how, how did you go from being a chef to getting together to be a, a, a company like this? Well, we were uh, we were both chefs at a high volume uh, place of business, and uh, we had been working together for seven years at uh, at that place. And Drew approached me at, at one point. I had known that he had been growing chilies. I had been to his farm and, and seen how passionate he was about growing chilies and making these really delicious sauces. And uh, one day he asked me if I wanted to uh, help him take it uh, a bit further. Um, so. I accepted, of course, because what a tremendous opportunity to work with, A, somebody who's so passionate about this and so knowledgeable about chilies and can teach me a lot moving forward, uh, but also a great chance to work with somebody who who can really take what Drew's Chili Company with, allow me to come in and take it to next levels and beyond. Um, so, so we started uh, expanding the farm, putting irrigation in, all those kinds of things to, to building this business to where it is today. Mm. And uh, we couldn't be happier, really. I mean, it's a thrill to be able to do what we're doing and to be able to provide sauce for all you, all you listeners and, and everybody, everybody else that's uh, been able to enjoy our products. Mm -hmm. It's we, just a thrill. We, we, me and Steve run the whole aspect of the business, but we can't do it alone. We do rely on um, other vendors as well, suppliers, um, you know, everything from the accountants, the insurance people, uh, all the people that organize the markets, uh, people, reviewers like yourself. Um, I can't even list the amount of people yeah, that have it, brought us to where we are today. It's truly a community. It yeah, is our, a, label designer, community. Right? our label yeah. designers, right? Our label designers. Jordan and Nikki um, Engman, so many people uh, have gotten us uh, to where we are going. Um, and I think, you know, uh, where we're going and where the community is going in Canada, there's a lot of room for growth and oh, definitely. Uh, an opportunity for everyone. So, uh, Greg was saying that my mic is a little bit low, so I turned it up a little bit. I hope that's a little bit better for everybody. Give me a thumbs up if that's, if that's better. Um, hey, Vera. Hi, Vera. <laughs> um, now, before Vera's we get into the, the last <laughs> one, that is your uh, syrup, right? You got it, Kendall. And uh, Lisa McKay was asking uh, about what kind of pairing that would be good with because uh, she, she likes the, uh, the, the syrup extremely well, and she wants to know what you suggest pairing it with. Well, uh, first I'll give into a little description for somebody who hasn't, uh, who hasn't gotten the opportunity to try it yet. So what this is is... A grade A dark Ontario 
organic maple syrup uh, from Pepperlock Creek, and we infuse it with Ontario bourbon mash and some beautifully smoked chipotle flakes. So this has got an amazing sweet smoky tea with that with that amazing note from the uh, from the bourbon. So uh, talking about pairings, um, I personally have paired this on things from grilled salmon. You put a little bit in bread if you want to give it that sweet smoky a little bit as well but you can also do something as putting it on top of some vanilla ice cream mm. i've even made crumble with this and the granola on the top and it just takes it to incredible levels that you might not have thought of but when you try it it's truly a sensational flavors that come through grilled pork really lends itself well uh, we have a lot of our friends and customers um, pairing it on pork tenderloin pork belly pork chops um, like Steve suggested, salmon is amazing. Any type of like uh, uh, trout would be really, really good as well. Um, you could even take it and take, say, your favorite barbecue sauce that you kind of wanted to add a little bit of smoke to it or a little bit of that bourbon, a little oaky, a little bit of sweet. So you can actually just upgrade um, maybe a, a, a lesser flavorful barbecue sauce. Nice, um, nice. And why so it, have I not tried this sauce? Yeah, <laughs> I gotta yeah. get that. Well, one. Make sure you get one. We'll send one. That you're ready. sounds amazing. I love this idea of the bourbon background in it and the smokiness. That sounds awesome. Yeah, um, the thing we do put in it is a little bit of lemon juice, and that acts as a salt in this. We didn't want to put salt in it as it's maple syrup, and it could alter the product. But what the lemon juice does is let the bourbon, the chipotle, and the maple syrup all work together in, oh. in harmony. Mm -hmm. well, it really it, harmony. It, uh, opens the taste buds on the, on the tongue and allows those other flavors to kind of dance around a bit. Well, I'm sure if uh, people have not tried your stuff, if they're understanding what you're saying like I am, my mouth is watering. I got to <laughs> get a hold of that because the other sauces are fantastic, and that one sounds amazing. We it, just had a funny. comment about a, such a cool design. Hey, Skip, how you doing? We got Skip, Jamie. I appreciate you dropping in. Drew, thank you very much. Uh, Adrian Stevens. Uh, I see Brandon was on there, too. Thank you so very much. Uh, I, 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 I want to know uh, your, your name, Hurtberry Farm. Where did that come from, and where did the logo come from? Because it's really unique, and I really like it. Hey, you want to take the name, and I'll do the logo? Okay. Steve and I were discussing uh, on the farm, obviously, we were, there's a lot of planning that went into everything. It was, you know, four, five, six months, maybe even up to a year, throwing ideas back and forth, where we wanted to take our new company together, um, where we wanted to keep some of the same ideas, kind of the transition, because we had built quite a following. Now, Steve was kind of like a silent partner in Drew's Chili Co., uh, even though Steve's I couldn't have done it without Steve. Uh, Steve was such a big part of everything from the design, from the ideas, the the concepts, because we were doing concept sauces. We were almost at one point releasing, well, we were releasing one new sauce a month, uh, which anybody who's in the business can understand that the organization, and if you've seen the 20, 30 ingredients we put in each sauce, there's a lot of thought and process, right. as well as theming it, making it thematic, so it had a story behind it. We like to have a little bit of a story as well, and I, I think it keeps it makes things quite interesting. So that was really the concept between Hurtberry Farm. Hurtberry is a play on, on a chili pepper. Uh, so that was really where it came from. Uh, we wanted to include the fact that, yeah, a lot of our products are seed to bottle where we can, um, as well as keeping that farm mentality, because that's really, we call it, whenever we take, we, we do a new venture, we call it planting a seed. Uh, so if we've done something like a collaboration or we've worked on some ideas, okay, well, we'll plant that seed for now and we'll see what germinates. So that's where the whole concept of the farm comes from, not just the fact that we have the farm, but also that we are farming uh, creativity, farming flavor, far farming relationships that we meet. And that's really big for us, too, as well. As like I say, we can't do this alone. Now, your we stuff really is all locally, uh, all local, too, isn't it? Yeah, as much as we can, sourced, yes, yeah. for That's sure. Right. Eventually, it will hopefully be 100%. But, uh, you know, living in Canada, it gets a little tricky. So, with uh, with ingredients and sourcing. so Fantastic. Fantastic. I love the name. I love the, the, the logo. Now, tell Steve us about the logo. Steve will show you the logo. I'll tell you yeah. about the logo. Well, the logo kind of came about a uh, long, hot summer's day in the garden. And, you know, <laughs> you, know bit, you know, you know, worked, worked hard. So driving home and I was just thinking to myself, it's like, well, a vision popped into my head and it was pretty much 
the exact we have this logo right now. <laughs> this exact logo popped into my head, so I went home and I got out a, uh, a sketch pad and some some coloring pencils and stuff like that, and I basically drew down this uh, design probably in like five to ten minutes, and I sent it to Drew, and I was like, "What do you think of this for a logo for our company?" Because it incorporated a chili pepper, right? And and, and it just kind of it looked quite sharp. Um, and he loved it, and and so we we're like, okay, let's go with it. Why why bother worrying ourselves about looking for something better when when it feels right? When yeah, it feels yeah, right, yeah, it, it do does. It it, it lends feels itself right, do perfectly. It, right? ex exactly what you guys are doing. It's got the chili pepper in there. It's got your initials in there. I like the logo. I like the I like the shape of it. Everything everything works very well. You did a great job on that. Oh, well, thank you very much. Now. Let's let's. I want to ask you one more thing. Uh, we got so many great people on here. Ike, appreciate it. Oh man, thanks for joining us. Hey, uh, can I get her, Steve? Yeah, Steve. Oh, matter of fact, let's I will be making when uh, Dan Howard. Uh, hey, everybody. in New Please York City, game. Steve had some tasting the heat Amy. designed leather hot sauce holsters that are studded Holsters. up. I will uh -huh. be making more of them for Steve to uh put out there so if anybody like them kind of uh, studded up uh, hot sauce holsters I will be working with Steve to make some of them I think they're going to turn out great I've got some really great ideas but sorry about that had to throw that in there yeah, um, no so what's next with you guys because uh, I know uh, we got the show in November 9th in Hamilton is that correct that's correct, That's correct. And, Wave that, hot sauce expo, part two. <laughs> and I'm sure we're going to all start seeing a lot of uh, advertising for that a little bit closer to the date uh, but what's next for you guys? What do you have on the plans? And do you have any new sauces coming out? Or, or, or exactly what's the next step for Hurtberry Farm? Well, we're always coming up with new concepts and ideas for new things that are going to come out. However, we do have plans for things that will come out in the near future. We're talking about barbecue sauce coming out very soon, getting ready to break out those barbecues, and this weather finally warms up. Yeah. Um, and then also, if you're familiar with Drew's Chili Company, we released some preserves uh, last summer, and we're going to be uh, continuing that later on this summer, but we're going to wait until... Uh, we can get some really great local, locally conscious produce and, and in season. In season, so mm -hmm. it's at its peak. So when you open up that jar, you're getting a taste from where we're from, and, and you can you can appreciate it like we do. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Yeah, the honey will be back too. We do a, a locally uh, sourced honey uh, from a friend of ours, uh, which is super, uh, very special because of the location where it is. And as well as the, uh, so we only we only get it from her, and it's only available a certain time of year. And when it's gone, it's gone. Right. Uh, we 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 do have a signature line that is going to be staying available, but we also want to be able to offer uh, interesting and exciting new products all the time. Um, hence why we're doing that with the super hot sauces. The syrup uh, will be available. The preserves will be seasonal. Um, and as we go through the seasons, we'll be releasing new things um, as they become fresh and uh, become season in season. Well, as soon as you guys get anything new, be sure and let me know. I will do whatever I can to share it with everybody. And uh, for everybody watching, thank you for putting up with the lag in the video. It's still been a great podcast to listen to, and you guys are fantastic. I got to meet them live in person in Canada. I, could, I got a vouch for these two fantastic people. I... Uh, totally uh, uh, feel a connection with them because they understand what's going on. Great people in Canada. I uh, love all you guys out there and thank you for making me feel so uh, uh, welcome when I came over to your country and that really means a lot to me. And uh, I will be looking forward to seeing you on November 9th in uh, Hamilton at the Heat Wave Hot Sauce Expo. And mm -hmm. if you guys got anything else that uh, uh, going on, be sure and let me know. And I will definitely share that because if there's any other shows, I want people to get out there and try your sauces because I know if they try them, they will buy them. And uh, to take it from me, just buy them anyways. They're that good. <laughs> HotSauceUnlimited.com uh, in the States. Old Agassi. Uh, old Agassi. Uh, old Agassi. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Old Agassi. Uh, Oregon. In Oregon. Uh, plus your website again www.hurtberryfarm.com excellent and you can find you on facebook and you got uh, it instagram uh, as well uh, at hurtberry farm inc nice nice fantastic guys i want to thank you very oh, much mother. 
you're welcome. We have a few other events coming up in the oh, city. Please do. Uh, we have uh, some events in uh, June, July, and August uh, down in the Distillery District, which is a very popular area of Toronto. Uh, Asperger's Estates, we have three dates. Uh, in the Distillery District, we have three dates. We just finished a really great event at uh, a flea market called the Punk Rock Flea Market. Uh, that was at the iconic Lee's Palace, which is a very uh, famous concert hall in the city. Uh, we had a really good turnout, and uh, we even had like a five or six or seven year old kid uh, buying our salsa calafacto. Uh, really enjoyed it. So we really like to get out of these events. We love to demo our products because our products we feel um, are best represented from us who create them. Uh, and maybe we can uh, give you guys some ideas on how, how to use them. So that's another thing. If anybody ever has any questions in regards to our products, how to use them, you can always reach out and get through to us. Right off our webpage, you can actually contact us through Messenger at any time. So that's if you're on the webpage, you can actually just directly contact us. That's right. And one of us will answer. More than happy to help you out. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, I'm totally thrilled to have you on the show. I really appreciate it. I've been looking forward to this. And... Uh, Sorry about a couple uh, week delay because of uh, equipment problem, and uh, looks like we got maybe one kickstand down or one training wheel down, and the other one is still kind of in the wind. So <laughs> we're gonna try and get this fixed. Please hit the donation button at tastingtheheat.com. Thank you very much for everybody joining us tonight. I really appreciate this. And until next, ne well, next week we're gonna be down making sauce with Angry Irishman. So I want to have a show next week, but in two weeks, uh, keep watching. I'm gonna try and get uh, a show up and running. And uh, thank you guys for being on tonight. I couldn't uh, have a better company to have you guys with me, and I really appreciate it. So until next time, everybody, this is Tasting the Heat Live, the original spicy food talk show on Facebook. Please follow us on Instagram. Twitter and YouTube and don't forget the uh, Facebook page right over there give us a like and if you've got a sauce that you've liked from Hurtberry Farm be sure and share the uh, pictures on Tasting the Heat and get this out and tell us what you think so until next time everybody have a good night and good night thanks Kendall